family is looking for answers tonight after their loved one was discovered dead in an East Knoxville alley with at least one gunshot wound. Now, earlier today, we told you that man was identified as 27-year-old Joseph Hines. That's him on your screen right now. Police are still investigating what exactly happened to Hines, but tonight his family is grieving. They're also talking with WAT 6 on your side reporter Jordan Brown about how they want him to be remembered. Jordan. Yeah, Bo, this family wants the community to know that this wasn't just a random person found in an alley. This was a brother, nephew, and cousin who was loved and will be missed dearly. I haven't even really accepted it. I keep thinking, like, there's going to be a call, and they're going to say that they were wrong, that it wasn't him. It's the call no family wants to receive. He was a very sweet person. It was really funny, yeah, really funny. He could light a room with just a smile. That bright light has now been put out. Days after 27-year-old Joseph Hines was found dead in an alley with a gunshot wound, his family is looking for answers. We want to hope and pray that God is going to intervene on this. You know, a lot of people jump to conclusion and end up being wrong in the end, so to speak. Until they get the answers they seek, they're holding on to the good memories of Joseph, the fun, loving man who liked to cook and enjoyed spending time with his family. He loved to cook. He loved to cook. And he would always take a picture of whatever he could and post it on his Facebook. I taught him how to swim. <laughs> he was so scared of water. I remember it when he was young. Waiting for the conclusion of the investigation will be agonizing, but they're willing to wait so long as their Joseph isn't forgotten. I just pray that they will remember that to us, he was somebody. He was our brother, our cousin, our nephew. And I pray that it doesn't just fall to the wayside, that there is footwork put in to try to bring some closure and find out what happened and why. Now, while they wait for answers, the family is in the process of fit planning a funeral service for Joseph. Bo. All right, Jordan, thank you. And the KPD Violent Crimes Unit is continuing to investigate Heinz's death. There is no suspect information available at this time, but anyone with information is asked to contact East Tennessee Valley Crime Stoppers. The phone number is 865-215-7165.